Hello everyone, I'm Tanya Penny, your self-love catalyst and vibrant body and abundant life coach. And I first of all want to say happy 2016. I personally love this time of year. I love starting over, um, wiping the slate clean, whatever you want to call it. I love this time of year. Um, just it feels like there's a whole bunch of new energy um, and intentions to co-create whatever it is that you desire this year. So not that we can't start over any time during the year um, or declare that, but this time of year, um, the energy seems especially strong to me. So I want to talk to you this month about living your passions and purpose. And I specifically chose this month to talk about this topic. It's also my topic in my Vibrant Body and Abundant Life Mastery Program. So, um, I believe that living our passions and purpose really is crucial, maybe is the word, um, essential to not only having a, a healthy body, but being happy and fulfilled in our lives. And oftentimes, if we are not living our passions or our purpose, what I have seen for myself and for my clients is it can actually cause illness, mentally, physically, emotionally. It can cause anxiety, it can cause depression, it can cause actual physical illness. I do believe that um, you know, that was part of the, the, the multiple sclerosis, right? Not fully living my passions and purpose. So we're gonna be diving in every week this month in, into you know, different tips and tools for that. So, the first thing I'd like to ask you to do is reflect on how are you currently living your passions? Like some of you are like, passions, what does that mean? Passions are things that light you up, things that you love to do. A lot of people call them hobbies. Um, I'll give you some examples. I love to read. I love to teach, of course. That's part of my purpose. Um, I love to travel, I love to hike, I love to snorkel, I love to camp, I love to trail run, I love live music, I love happy hour with friends and uh, my sweetie. So those are some of the things that light me up, that make me feel alive, feel good. So I guess the first question is, what are your passions? And a lot of my clients come to me and honestly they don't they are so far removed from what their passions are, they, sometimes they can't even tell me. They don't even remember. So I'll ask you, if that's you, to go back and remember as far back as you can into childhood, what did you love to do? So writing is the number one of my passions. And I don't mean physically writing, even though I do journal quite a bit, but um, I'm writing my book right now. And I write content, I create content for my programs. And I really love that, okay? So I love to create and write. That's another one of my passions. So it is helpful to take some time to reflect on what are your passions, whether you're currently doing them now or not. You know, one of my passions is kayaking. I haven't been doing it. And this year I'm going to put it on my, my passion blueprint, my passion plan, my vision board um, to, to spend time and money on kayaking because I really, really desire to do that. I love water, right? So first of all, number one, make your list. What are your passions? What lights you up? What do you love to do? Okay, so I recommend coming up with a list of at least 10 things. And that may seem like a lot to you, but really, not, it's, it's not that many, right? It's not that many. And if that seems like a lot, start with five. So come up with your list, and remember there's no right or wrong, no perfection here. Put that to the side. So first come up with your list of passions. And then once you come up with the list, ask yourself, how much time and or money am I currently putting towards this, doing these? And if it really isn't very much, you might wanna ask yourself, dig a little deeper, question number three, and ask yourself why, right? Why? What's been holding you back? You know, is it, you're not taking enough time for you, you're spending too much time working or making everybody else happy, uh, taking care of everybody else. Um, is fear holding you back? So those are some things to, to reflect on in the next week, okay? And then I'm gonna help you move forward. Uh, we're gonna move into purpose, but 
and also and more fully living your passions as well this month so if this message resonates with you it might resonate with some of your friends too feel free to pass it on forward this message this video and if you haven't yet signed up for the co-create your abundant body and life 2016 co-creating your vibrant body and abundant life 216 free workshop i highly recommend that you do and you can find the sign up for that below we have some live classes coming up in january that will be not only inspiring and empowering but fun and will really help you to co-create your vibrant body and abundant life in 2016. so if you own a business um, you may also want to sign up for your Abundant Biz Bank and Beautiful Life 2016. For those of you who are healers, coaches, creatives that own a business or want to. And those are both free virtual classes, workshops, trainings, and you can find the sign up link below. All right, you guys, dive in to your passions reflection, and I'll see you next week.